where the pathways is started every time you will you will require a certain precursor precursors means primary metabolites which will synthesize the end product as i said in the plant secondary metabolites most of the amino acids and intermediates of tca cycle intermediates that will forms a polyamine salt as i said in the cyclic acid pathways is the responsible for the synthesis of secondary metabolites so same thing is every pigments having a different structure pyranose rose structure so here we, as i said three parts of the benzene ring attach with that in the previous lecture that oh oh or hydroxy group is responsible for formation of pigment colors if you see the structure of these cyanidin pelargodin and dalfenin if it is asked in the examination what is the cyanidin and match the following you have to write which color pink very good pelargodin yellow hmm yellow or scarlet scarlet color then dalfenidin it gives a blue color now structurally you can see what is differ in whether it is differ in the benzene ring structure no it is only the change in the hydroxyl group dalfenidin having a higher hydroxyl group at these positions oh 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 three times you will find here how many oh is removed two only two and the same things is called as pelargodin similarly if you go the cyanidins what is the difference between pelargonidin and cyanidin you can see in the structurally you will find only a one oh one hydroxyl groups and you know how the hydroxyl group is formed hydrogen h2o only one oh will gives you this color okay so red pigment or blue pigments how red to blue is happening or you can say the pelargodin gives you a blue pigments as well as red pigments so primary structure of pelargodin having a four hydroxyl group and with this so two oxygens here oh 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 right similarly if you add one oh at these positions you will find cyanidins so this is the pathway to synthesize rows of flower pigments this is the primary things nowadays you will also find a different colors in the roses because of certain transgenes is being inserted and changes in the pathways of this primary so cyanidin in pathways anthocyanidin pathways is responsible for formation of flower color i will show you how it is formed what is the precursor so phenylalanine ammonia lyase or cyclic acid pathways that will gives you these two two things one is 5 melonyl coa or comoril coa four comoril coa see here these four comoril coa and three three unit of melonyl coa melonyl coa means cos coa and ch2 c double oh mean acetic acid is attached with the acetyl coa that is melanyl coa his four comoril means it require a benzene ring oh structures now you have to remember this is the precursor for simplified anthocyanin biosynthesis in the flower this pathway is very important and you have to remember with tip of tongues that simplified anthocyanin anthocyanin biosynthesis in the flower the precursor is melonyl coa and four comoril coa now the enzyme it is given in the a b c d e f g up to g eight eight enzyme is responsible for formation of further glycolysation 
glycosylation. Now, as I said that pelargonidine, malvidine, delphinidine, pitinudine. Now, how it is formed? So, first enzyme as precursor is the 4 or 3 melanyl CoA and 4 comaryl CoA. Both will attach and it forms a one compound that is called 4 to 4 6. This is the position 4 to 4 6. Tetra. Tetra means 4. Hydroxy. As I said in the previous slide, that OH group, it is hydroxy group. Now, chalcone. Remember, repeat this. 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 6, 4, 6 tetra, tetra, hydroxy, hydroxy chalcone. chalcone. Now, remember God. 4, 2, 4, 6, tetra, hydroxy, chalcone. Very good. How it is formed? By combination of uh, 3, uh, melonyl coe and 4 comaryl coe. Yes, 4 comaryl coe and 3, 3 4 comaryl uh, 4, 4, 4 dash comaryl coe and 3 3 unit of melonyl coe. Yeah. How many? 3. 3, 3 plus 1 these 4. Now these 4, 2, 4, 6 tetra hydroxy chal chal. These tetrahydroxy chalcone, 1, 2, 3, 4, these tetrahydroxy chalcone, this is the position, at 4 position, at 2 position, 4, 2. Here is the 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay. From here, 4, 2, 4, 6, 4, 2, 4, 6, tetrahydro, tetrahydroxy chalcone, that will form because of this chalcone synthase. Which enzyme? Chalcone synthase is responsible for formation of 4 to 4, 6 tetrahydroxy chalcone because of the precursor is 3 unit of melanyl CoA and 1 unit of 4 cora comaryl CoA will form tetrahydroxy. Now, another same structure you will find here, but the removal of, see here, it is attached. This H is removed. And this OH means H2O is removed. That will form naringenin. Remember this? Naringenin. Naringenin is forms. It requires the isomerase is the enzyme. Isomerase. Chalcone isomerase. Chalcone isomerase. How the chalcone is formed? 4 to 4, 6 tetrahydro. Now it will, it will require the chalcone isomerase that will form naringenin. Now you have to remember every color is having a flavonoids, flavonones. Okay. So this form, how the flavonone structure is formed. So as I said, hydroxyl unit is that flavonone three hydroxylase FHT. What is the full form of full form of FHT? Flavonone three hydroxylase. Now this dihydro camperol. That camperol is formed naringentin to dihydrocamperol because of the enzyme is flavonol 3 hydroxylase. Now, flavonol synthase. Remember, here two things, two bases is formed D and E. D means flavonol synthase and E means dihydroflavonol 4 reductase. So, FLS and DFI, FLS and DFI. This E is dihydro. Dihydroflavonol 4 reductase and flavonol 3, uh, flavonol synthase. That will convert into camperol. Camperol structure, more or less, you will find dihydrocamperol. It requires only a dihydro. Okay. Similarly, same structure you will find. Similarly, leucopelargonidine. Remember, as I said, leucopelargonidine, the structurally, here they have formed only OH. In case of O, that is OH. So, leucopelargonidine. 
this lipopolar leading finally this hydroxyl group removed and it will convert into pelargonidine then pelargonidine three glucosides and further glycosylation that will continue up to this so lipoenthosamine dehydrogenase lard lard is the enzyme that will form at this lipopelargonidine to pelargonidine then fgt fgt means g g is pelargonidine to pelargonidine three glucosides if i am asking write the enthocyanin biosynthesis in the flower you have to write a b c d e f g as well as this name also you need not to remember the structure if you are in biochemistry then i will look, certainly ask how the oh is formed how oh is removed now same cyclic acid pathways intermediates or as i said what is the structure of four comma l how the cyanamic acid form how the phenylalanine form and how these precursor phenolics are the responsible for the formation of flower pigments so how this 4246 kaise bana sir tell me 4246 tetrahydro then hydroxyl cyclone 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 the cyclone oh chalcon chalcon okay 4246 tetrahydro chalcon how as i said Yes, three. Uh, three. Me melonyl melonyl coa and four comaryl coa. Ah, oh. four dash uh, only one compound. Whereas in case of that three three, three melonyl coa. So this melonyl coa is is formed because of phenylalanine. Phenylalanine is formed from cyclic acid pathway. Ah, oh, secondary metabolite. Phenylalanine pal is the enzyme that will convert into a cyanamic acid, and this cyanamic acid will gives you a enzyme is 4Cl, and that is comaryl CoA, and this comaryl CoA and plus three melonyl CoA that will convert into 464 tetrahedro. I have started with this. Okay, melonyl CoA and comaryl CoA. So. This melanol and comaryl CoA is formed with this bit. Alanine means the precursor. Finally, naringenin. This naringenin and it will convert into a uh, epigenin, another flavonoid. Finally, you will find dihydro quercetin and dihydro camphorol, dihydro myricetin. These three compound always reforms. and it is called as flavonoid structures and these flavonoids are responsible for formation of whole pigments color this three color three names first name dihydroxyquercetin dihydroxyquercetin then dihydrocamphorol then dihydromyricetin Now dihydromyricetin that will give delphinidine. Dihydrocamphorol that will give you pelargonidine. Dihydroquercetin that will gives you cyanidine. And the cyanidine, pelargonidine, and delphinidine that is called all three parts called as anthocyanidines. What is the example of anthocyanidines? Cyanidines, pelargonidine, and delphinidine. Okay, CPT. Dihydroflavonols. Example of dihydroflavonols. Dihydroxyquercetin. Which is dihydrocamphorol and dihydromycin. Very good. Now these anthocyanidins to anthocyanins. The structurally they are same, but the enzyme is required three GT. This three GT that will gives a uh, glucosides. Same words you have to use: cyanidine three glucosides, pelargonidine three, three glucosides, and delphinidine three glucosides. That is called anthocyanins. Only the attachment is three glycosides. Okay. So
certain people called as glucosides. Glycosylation is formed. Therefore, here you will find glucoside. 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 Pronunciation glucosides is writer one or you can say true one. Finally, this pionidin. Pionidin is formed from what? Cyanidin. Hmm. Cyanidin 3-glucosides. Now, malvidin. Malvidin is formed from delphinity. See, here is the Okay. Cyanidin 3-glucoside pionidin. Then this delphinidin gives you a pionidin. And then malvidin. Therefore, you will find in certain cases, first you will find another color, blue color, and then we can color yellow color or a pink color, and then you will find a seed formation. In certain peas plant, pea, pea, they're having a different flower colors. Okay. So this is the pathways of flower color development, and very important, you have to read or Mugging with this word. Okay. No need to structure, but you have to remember here is OH removed, here is not. I will not ask in the examination, but you have to remember that this OH group is only higher OH group found in delphinity. So figures formula some of the plant pigments, the ghost affecting that is yellow phenolonin, cyanines. Here is O glucose. Here is also O glucose. Similar structure as I said in the flavanols. Six carbon sugars. Ramnose is the six carbon deoxy. Six carbon deoxy sugars. Arbinose is the five carbon sugars. Some formulas for some formula for flower pigments. Why I am telling this? What is the structure of beta carotene? How many is this? Nine. <laughs> very good. That you know very well. That certain times I am asking beta carotene. Where setting a yellow flavonoid and malvidin chloride a blue cyanidin. The structurally only you will find OCS3. Okay. Red anthocyanins, that is cyanine. It requires O glucose. Okay. So biochemistry of post-harvest management of cut flowers we have already completed. Now 